what's up kings and queens welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me here on my channel tonight i am the eva monroe this is my first time in a long time doing a fragrance video at night but i'm super excited to be here i'm putting a varnish on our bar so it's and it's right next door so if y'all see me just do like this just call 911. um <laughs> have them trace my location because it's strong, but it'll be nice to smell something different. Okay, it's hard out here. Y'all, this this life, it's, it's hard, right? I have some fragrances that I, I'm so excited to share with you guys tonight. Uh, like I said, you guys are gonna love, hate me for this one. Um, I have some pricey, and, but I have some affordable too. I have some, like y'all like to ask me to talk about some affordable. I have some stuff that, I feel is affordable, even though I tell y'all everything is affordable because you can get a decant, you get a sample, you get a partial, or you can save your coins up, okay? So, Valentine's Luxury Fragrances. These are fragrances that you would get somebody you love, though, not somebody you like. If you just like somebody, if you crushing on them, you better get them some Blue Day Chanel, <laughs> some Sauvage or something like that, okay? You don't, go, don't come here, okay? None of this stuff. Get this stuff for yourself. No. Okay, so the very first fragrance is, oh, you guys, I have been, I've been wanting this and y'all know I've been looking for a deal on this. Ever since this was released, I have been waiting for this to pop up in somebody's group, on somebody's list. Somebody wants to trade this. Somebody's giving it away. Selling a half price never happened. And whenever that happens with fragrances, that means something to me. When you don't see them, you never see them pop up in the group. That means it's good, typically. That's what it means. It means it's good or they ran out of bottles of it or something. I don't know. Amouage Overture Woman. Okay, so the new gentleman that took the house of Amouage over, that became the creative director when Mr. Chung went away, he actually said that he felt that since um, everybody else had a boo thing, had a poor film or whatever, he should make a poor thumb to Overture Man. And so that's what he did. And I think this was the first one that he touched in this house, right? Now... I'm going to be honest, I was not feeling a sure Crimson Rocks or anything in between. I just, and I still feel like I don't get it. Like, I'm, I know the only thing constant in life is change, but just don't, don't come change everything. Like, don't take, you know, the, leave some things, you know, from the past. Um, the things that we loved, smoke. The Oud, the Immortel, the, you know, all those good beast mode type things that Amouage is known for. However, even though I wasn't fond of any of those four fragrances, this thing right here, y'all, Overture Woman, I I could not be more impressed with this fragrance. Um, Apple, Brandy, there's Saffron, Bergamot, Myrrh, Cinnamon, Geranium, there's some leather in this thing. Man, every time I smell this, my I just get so like, I'm like, girl, you did it again with your blind by itself. <laughs> this is so good. Apple Brandy's wife. I would say Apple Brandy's little sister, but she, this don't deserve to be no little nothing. Apple Brandy's wife right here. Oh my goodness. This is so gorgeous. I smell so many things going on here. Like I smell the brandy. I smell the apple. Like the first blast of it that you get is like you're in an expensive restaurant and you get their apple dessert Like they bring it out and it's only like this big, but it's like apples cooked in brandy with a little dollop of whipped cream on top and some squirts of chocolate around the plate. That's, that's what I feel like this this is that's what you get um but the saffron is also pronounced in here i had a little thing of saffron that i was going to show you guys some um 
a little tin of actual saffron. But the saffron is really pronounced in here as well, but it's so good. Like, it's just, this is so perfect to me. Now, if you hate amouage, because I hear a lot of people say, oh, everything I smell from amouage, I hate. If you don't like um, Interlude Woman and you don't like um, Imitation Woman, portrayal, lyric, um, epic. If you don't like any of those, if you smell those and you're like, I could never, it's too much for me. I feel like you could wear this. I think, honestly, I think like if you like the whole, um, blossom sunshine vibe, this, in my opinion, it's on that level, but I feel like it's better than both. And that's just, my humble opinion. I was getting ready to say I am H-O, but my son told me don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Sexy. Sexy. You know, I feel like it's slightly feminine, but a man might like to wear that. Like if he likes a boozy apple sweet sexy fragrance he a man might like to wear that but i i really feel like there's like a slight feminine vibe going on here but whatever it is simply gorgeous now i'm not gonna spend my whole video talking about that okay next on my list you know this is another one that i have been like going back and forth about got some samples up got a sample of it wore it. I actually only played in the sample. I never full on wore it, but when I smelled it, I was like, God, do I have to have that? Especially at the price. I was like, no. Then someone sent me some in a decant, sent me a decant of it. And I fell in love with it then. I was like, oh, this is one that, um, I'm trying to think of a better gourmand. I just, I just can't. A more grown up, a more luxurious but still gourmand Raja perfume, sweetie. Oh, the fingerprints, child. You can't put fingerprints on a Raja. That's like putting a bumper sticker on a Bentley. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Where's my cloth? I have a little cloth. Sweetie Oud Raja perfumes. And I... If you follow me on Instagram, you saw my unboxing of this. First unboxing I've ever done live on camera ever in my life. Unboxing. Um, wow. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Pricey. Yeah. Yeah. We. I won't even share the price. Okay? How about that? Just look it up. But it's very pricey. But I'm here to tell you, it, in my opinion, it's worth it. Um, you have to experience this at least one time in your life. And the bottle is so stunning, right? Okay, next pickup of mine. I actually have three of these now, but I'm only going to share this one with you guys today because there's something I'm feeling here. And I want to see who else is feeling it too. <laughs> So it's from the house of Nishane. Is it Nishane or Nishane? Y'all tell me. I I hear people saying Nishane, but I, I feel like they would have some a little hyphen over the top of the E. At any rate, Nishane, well, we'll go Nishane. Nishane, 100 Silent Ways. Now, I don't find these fragrances to be extremely pricey. Someone sent me a discovery kit of this and I fell in love with so many fragrances in that discovery kit. And I said, I'm going to choose two, maybe three. I liked Hachivat, 100 Silent Ways, um, Anai, the list goes on. So I found 100 Silent Ways. I purchased it. Now, the, the person who told me to, um, or who, who actually my friend who sent me the um, discovery kit said layer 100 silent ways with Hachivat. And I did. Loved it. Blew me away, actually. Really blew me away. And I think that was the main reason why I chose 100 silent ways. Um, tuberose, peach, gardenia, orris, vanilla. There's sandalwood here. But let me just wrap this up real quick for y'all. YSL Black 
opium in a new bottle. Here you go. <laughs> I love this though. And the thing that separates this from YSL Black Opium is the longevity. Cause why oh black opium doesn't last on me. Um I love it. I have I don't have a full bottle of it anymore. I gave my full bottle away. I do still have a decant of it and I even have that little they have a little gel pen. Um, I bought that in an attempt to see if I could make it last longer. I even ordered the fragrance oil so that I could make it last longer. It doesn't last on me. However, oh, this is this is really good. It lasts a very long time. But if you have YSL Black Opium, I don't I don't think you would you would wear that. I really don't. I mean, you would need to buy that. I, but that's just my opinion. If you've smelled that and you feel the same way too, please leave it in the comment section below so that I know I'm not going crazy because that is what that smells like to me. Now, the next one is my first BDK fragrance. Um, wow, these these are wonderful. These have come so highly recommended to me. That is crazy, and I. I can't believe that I had not dug off into this house. Um, well, I know I did. I didn't because it was trendy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I don't mess around with stuff when it's like trendy because then I feel like, okay, this is new. People are hyping it up because it's just new. And but when I got the uh, Nishane Discovery Kit. They actually sent me some samples of some BDK fragrances and I fell in love with like um, Rouge Smoking or Smoking Rouge and Tabac Rose and a few others. But I had to have this. Like this is a must. Now, this is plum, lemon, chocolate, rose, tobacco, patchouli. This has an amazing plum note in it, in my opinion. Oh, I live for a plum note. This is done so beautifully. But you know what? I I love the top of this fragrance so much that when it goes away, as soon as it goes away and this fragrance is like in its base note phase on my skin, I go right back in with it again. That's how much I love the top of this fragrance. It's like gorgeous, juicy, sweet plum. It's just, it's so stunning. It's almost like, it's slightly dessert like, but the tobacco is is definitely there. Like you can pick up on the tobacco in this fragrance. Um this lasts on my skin probably about I would say probably 3 to 4 hours, which really isn't bad. Like you I mean, you know, don't don't set yourself up for failure thinking that you're supposed to get like 9 to 12 hours with every fragrance that you own. If you have a fragrance, you like it enough, when it disappears, just do like I said and reapply it for them top notes. Because I'm telling you, this plum in here makes my heart sing, okay? <laughs> this, is like, this is like plum jap plum. This is Andy Warhol plum plum. So good. Plum and lemon and oh, you can smell the lemon and the rose in there. You know, sometimes rose has like a, can have like this lemony nuance to it. But nonetheless, gorgeous fragrance. And guess what? Not even expensive in my opinion. Not expensive at all. Some of them are a little pricey, but that one, not overly expensive. I'm trying to figure out what I sprayed on. Okay, next. I have something that's new to me and this is from Wesker Fragrances. Wesker Perfumes. Is it perfume? Just It's just Wesker. And this is an extracted perfume. This is Deviant. I have not studied up on the house. I have not. I don't have a lot of information or knowledge to share with you guys about said house. Um, I purchased this fragrance based upon the notes because I was looking for something that I absolutely did not have and I absolutely had never smelled. I stumbled up on this thing and I'm so glad I did. Like I was going to take one for the team on this, but <laughs> I'm so glad I found this thing here. Grapes, Lang Lang, grape fruit, rose, orris, there's cinnamon, or no, there's not, there's black currant, 
tobacco. There's a lipstick note in here. But sometimes people run from lipstick because um, someone asked me, they're like, oh, it has a lipsticky note in it. I'm not here for the lipsticky. Is it? And it's not that um, lipsticky. Um, a really good friend of mine, that I cannot think of the fragrance that has um, a lipstick note in it or lipstick vibe that she absolutely hates and she asked me she was like is it like that and I was like no it's not like that in fact I think that it adds like a slight maybe a slight powdery thing in the base of the fragrance and and if it is lipstick it's like it's like a good sweet lipstick it's not like that it's not like Avon Coming soon. Y'all know I don't be playing, right? I, you know, I'm glad I said that. I don't want to get off topic, but I bought some Avon. I actually bought four bottles. I'm going to share those with you guys soon. Not tonight, though, because I don't need, I get a headache every time I talk about those. Okay, so amazing, amazing fragrance. Um, The grape note in here, if you've ever smelled grape pearls from the House of Oud, it's that kind of grape, like kind of whiny, juicy, sweet grapes. Gorgeous fragrance. I wore this to the Home Depot. As soon as I got it, I covered myself in it. Went out. I was like, I'm going to the Home Depot. And I got two compliments on it in like seven minutes. You know, one and then seven minutes later, another compliment. So I was like, wow, okay. This does smell as good as I thought it smelled. Really nice. A, a very nice tobacco. Very smooth, gorgeous tobacco, especially in the base of the fragrance. Um, So this is Deviant. I will have more information to share with you guys on this house later on. Um, But it smells very natural, in my opinion. Like when you see things, when I see things like lipstick and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, we done, we done went and got synthetic. But I don't feel like there's, I don't really smell anything synthetic in this fragrance. It smells so, it smells so natural and so good to me. So Deviant from the house of Wesker. Is this the wrestling logo? Y'all tell me, leave it in the comment section below. I looked at that and I was like, is that the WWF? Um, maybe they're affiliated. Okay. Y'all want some tobacco? I'm about to give y'all some serious tobacco up in here tonight. This is tobacco. This ain't playing with nobody, okay? This is from, I think it's pronounced Sved, Svedga? No, Tess, Sved, Svega, Svega, Svega. <laughs> Svega, okay? A man and his pipe. Okay, y'all, I, I got nervous here when I first smelled it. Is it, this is here. Okay, so it's here. I don't think I have, do I have anything here? I think I do. All right, now, I'm glad this is here though, but I'm gonna spray it again. I have to spray it again just because I have to tell you guys about the top of this fragrance, okay? Picture this, your uncle Petey, sitting out on the porch or Uncle Junebug or whoever sitting out on the porch. He had a big old wad of backa because that's what country people used to call it right here. And he was sipping on a glass of whiskey, whatever whiskey he drank. When you first spray this, that is exactly what you get. And it's a little bit intimidating, right? Wow, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. It's crazy. Don't spray this on your clothes. But I'm telling you this, when you see stuff like this, child, that's a good sign. <laughs> it to, to a fray head, that's a good sign. Okay. Um, man. Yeah. Whiskey and tobacco. And I'm talking about like pure hardcore whiskey and tobacco. And, and I smelled this in, in the beginning and I was like, oh, I bit off a little bit more than I could chew here, literally. But the dry down of this fragrance is actually very stunning, in my opinion. It, it sweetens up. It turns into a really nice, sweet tobacco. 
whiskey still bouncing around in the background. Um, but the tobacco is, is definitely, it's tobacco. Like, don't come here. Anybody who says this smells like tobacco vanille is on one. I'm just going to let you know that right now. This does not smell like tobacco vanille, in my opinion. Um, if you like tobacco vanille, especially if you are a lady and you like tobacco vanille and you're like, oh, that sounds like something I want, sample this first. Because this, in my opinion, this is not, this is nothing like tobacco vanille, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, if I were a man and I liked the tobacco fragrance and I wanted to really smell like a man, like, you know, very manly, I would pick this over tobacco vanille, but that's just me because I mean, I feel like, I, I feel like it's very luxurious and it's very like pure and authentic. And the, the tobacco just blows me away in this fragrance. Because like I said, it smells like Uncle Junebug's breath when he's drink, chewing his tobacco and sipping on a glass of whiskey. That's what it smells like. But it does it sweetens up rather nicely. It it turns very nice. Um, hopefully I'll have more, in, well, not hopefully, I'll have more information on this one as well. Very nice. But again, I'm, I'm going to pass this off to my husband. And I don't hate it because I don't pass off fragrances to him that I hate because I don't want to smell stuff on him that I don't like. But I feel like this is when like he puts on his brand new cowboy boots and his Levi's with his starched up shirt you know because my husband thinks he's a cowboy y'all i'm gonna do a whole video on it one day but <laughs> i smell this on him on one of those days so i would definitely but i have to tell him when to wear it because i'll be like don't wear it just wear that to the office but very nice a man and his pipe svega svega wine and chocolate svega their presentation was really cute to me. Like this came in a bag um, and it's all, you know, cutesied up and everything. And this came in a bag as well. And it had like a piece of burlap wrapped around it with a little string and everything. I was like, okay, well, that's cute. I can dig that. What does wine and chocolate smell like? Initially, right out the nozzle, wine. Just like a, a really good glass of red wine like not like your St. James sugary sweet wine I'm talking about like good wine like really good wine um the chocolate I feel is like an extremely dark chocolate it's not no it's not creamy milky chocolate nothing like that it would be like extra special dark chocolate is is the vibe I get here um very nice though um it starts out to be a bit much but because like I said, the wine and the chocolate are really pronounced in the top of the fragrance. But the dry down is like, it's rather amazing. The dry down impressed me because it's like, it, it fruities up in the end on me, which is kind of weird. Um, But it gets like fruity and sweet, but you can still smell the wine. You still get chocolate bouncing around in there. And I need to look up the notes for this because I think maybe tobacco, I feel like there's, tobacco in here I honestly do is that I think that's what I have on this hand I don't want to mix stuff up but absolutely stunning so if you guys get a chance try this out I've been here entirely too long thank you guys so much for listening to me today also got I forgot to sh tell you I got lovely tons of atomizers from the lovely people over at Raja Parfums they just loaded me down with atomizers I was like well okay um, I got um, Fortnum and Mason, the perfume, and I got Fortnum and Mason Taif Oud, which is, I hate they sent me that because I was like, oh, she got to buy that. It's very nice. I also got Amber Oud, the perfume, which was giving me my life. I was like, wow, I had no idea that was so nice. That is actually, in my opinion, that is actually nicer than... Um, the crystal perfume, in my opinion. And then I got hair is exclusive. So, ood. So, really nice. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching me today. 
until I see you again. If you've smelled any of these, let me know what you think about them. Um, don't forget to let me know if this smells like YSL black opium. So until I see you again, be blessed and bye for now.